A buoyant England will be aiming to carry forward their superb run in Test as the Ben Stokes led side are set to face South Africa in first test scheduled to start from Wednesday at Lords. South Africa have tasted success under the leadership of Dean Elgar, but the visitors are well aware of the threats possessed by the mighty England team. England team under the leadership of Ben Stokes and head coach Brandon McCallum have been successful in changing the approach and playing style in test cricket and it was a mighty task. The duo took charge of the team at a time when England were reeling with just one win from 17 test matches. But the results started changing dramatically after Stokes and McCallum appeared in the scene. England have now won four out of four tests under Stokes and McCallum. They defeated India in the fifth test and clean-swept New Zealand in a three-match test series. The English cricket team will now be hoping to keep their winning run intact and move up in the World Test Championship standings. England's batting relies a lot on Joe Root and Johnny Bairstow. Root and Bairstow were in sublime form against New Zealand as England registered their first ever clean sweep on home soil since 2011. Bairstow now needs only six more runs to reach 1,000 runs in a calendar year in tests. Veterans James Anderson and Stuart Broad will lead the English pace attack. England's all-time leading test wicket-taker Anderson might have earned the veteran status, but his prolific line and length will be enough to dismantle the Proteus batting unit. In the fifth test against India at Edge Baston, Anderson claimed his 32nd 5-4 in this format as the hosts outclassed India convincingly. The 40-year-old pacer will now be eager to replicate a similar show and clinch victory in the first test against South Africa. South Africa, in their last test assignment, clean-swept Bangladesh in a two-match series. They have also been in fine form in white ball cricket. In their last series, South Africa whitewashed Ireland in two T20 internationals. It will be absolutely wrong to think that Dean Elgar has only been handling leadership duties with ease. The 35-year-old Southpaw has played a key role in South Africa batting also. Elgar now needs 136 runs more to become the 8th South Africa batter to score 5,000 runs in Test cricket. South Africa have now won seven times in their last 10 test encounters. Skipper Elgar will depend on his pacers Lungi Ngidi and Andrik Norkia as Kagiso Rabada is expected to miss the first test due to injury. Apart from Rabada, another South Africa player, Duan Olivier, was ruled out of the test series due to injury. Olivier had suffered a great two-tear in his right hip flexor muscle during a tour match against England Lions. Hosts England might appear as the favourites to win the test match but records and history suggest that South Africa have clear advantage. The Proteas have played six tests at Lords since 1994 and they managed to claim four victories along with one draw.
Seventh placed England will perhaps not be able to secure a spot in the World Test Championships final. But a series victory for England will surely be a big blow to South Africa's aspirations of featuring in the final clash.